Hey, hi, hello, Hazel Harbor here, and today I'm going to be playing Syrup in the Ultimate Sweet. This is going to be disgustingly adorable, and I'm excited for it. You can't stop me. Woo! Huh. A little hint at the bottom. That's, that might be interesting. All right, let me sync up my audio. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. So let's um start the game. I mean, it's not really a game, it's a graphic novel -y type thing with choices, but hey, you know, it's, it's what we do here. In a peaceful town of magic users, there's a shop that only sells ordinary non-magical candies. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It's a sweet shop, that's what matters. The owner is known as the Candy Alchemist, a firm believer in science as the superior art. Proud and stubborn, she continues to make magnificent candies in order to prove her cause. Yeah, that wasn't the right word, but I'm gonna keep it. But a magical surprise awaits her in a basement workshop. Ooh. Oh, voices, voices, uh. Hmm? What's this? Oh, that was not even nearly the right voice for you. Alright, well, I'm gonna turn the voice now. I like her hair, hair goals. Good morning, how are you today? Uh, fine? I am also fine. Pastel? Can you come down here, like, now? Um, I would like, like it if you told me your name. I would tell you mine, but I was not given one. Syrup. Pastel, hurry up. You are Syrup. It is... Very nice to meet you. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, that's not happening. Pastel, get down here already! Syrup, it is very important that we get along. You stay away from me. I want you out of my lab right now. What... what is it you're holding? Um... what's it look like? It's candy. You're eating it? Yep, that's the whole point of candy. To get eaten. I see. Then please eat me. What? No, you weirdo! But you have to. It is my purpose as candy. Uh, do not eat. Do not. Nope. I'm not eating you. Is. Mm, hmm. Hmm. Voices. Hmm. Is there a problem? I don't know what voice to give him. Her. Them. I don't know. Uh. Oh, great. I'm gonna have the same problem I was having with uh, One Bit Heart, where I just. What are voice? How do? Uh. Eh. Is there a problem? Please put me in your mouth! Oh dear. It's about time, Festella. Make her stop. I promise I taste good. Here, just start with a finger. I said no! I'm not gonna eat a person! It's too weird. I'm not just a person, I'm candy! You said the whole point of candy is to get eaten. Hmm. Let's see. Why don't you just eat her then? Because she's not regular candy? I don't want to eat any magic candy that acts like it's human. If I. Did not act human. Would you eat me? Nope. It's too late. Never eaten you ever. Got it? No! Hey, don't give up. Maybe she'll change her mind one day. Don't encourage her. I'm using the wrong voice for myself. Whose side are you on? I will not give up. I will get along with Syrup. If you want to get along so badly, then stop telling me to eat you. Pastel, do something about this. Me? Yeah, you. It's your fault she's in here. What do you mean? I know exactly where this girl came from. Y you do? That rotten witch made her torment me. This is all her stupid elaborate prank. You forgot to lock this place up last night, and look what happened. Ugh. Ugh. Didn't mean to do that. Ugh. 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 Turn. Nailed it. That... yeah. 
Oh, yeah, that's probably what happened. Whoops, my apologies. Whatever, just hurry up and get her out of here. I've got work to do. Yes, the important work of eating me. I said that's not gonna happen. Same. She's fucking same. I feel this. This is so cute. What the heck? Syrup? You're going the wrong way! Hold on. Hmm? You'll never be able to get along with her if you keep telling her what to do. Really? Yeah, can't you tell? She doesn't like it very much. You have to find out what she likes. But still, I can't help but notice this doesn't sound like you're trying to get rid of her. In fact, it sounds like the complete opposite. All right, Master. I will find out what she likes. Master? Maybe she means master of the household. This is my store, not a house. If anyone's the master, it's me. Should I have not called you master? Master? Um, just Pastel is fine. Master Pastel! Well, that's close enough. I'm pronouncing his name so wrong, and I can feel it, but I'm not changing it, because I like it. You! Quit being so friendly with my assistant! And you! I thought I told you to get her out of here! Come on, C. She's not hurting anything. You're forgetting it was that witch who made her, obviously, as a prank or something. Just watch, she'll start wrecking my lab any minute. Hmm? I don't think she ever planned on wrecking anything, C. Are you saying I'm wrong? And she's here for some other reason? Well, I don't know. I just think... You... Candy Weirdo, who made you? That is a secret! Figures, why are you here then? To get along with Syrup! See? Harmless. Shut your face. Alright. Want to know the secret to getting along with me? Yes! Stay out of my lab! But... Let's give her some space for now, okay? Okay. Why is she only listening to Pastel, stupid candy weirdo? Huh. <laughs> One more batch of these and... Shoot, I need more... Yep. Yep. That's a word. Tartrazine? Fuck it, I know how to make candy. I'm a chemist. I know exactly what this, what this does. Don't worry about it. Guess I'm taking a shopping break. Then, every day after the cleaning's done, we take inventory. Running a store! Sounds like a lot of work. I have a newfound respect for you, Master Pastel. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, see, I'm teaching her how we run the store. I'm helping! No, 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 no. You were supposed to make her leave, not reveal all our trade secrets. And why'd you dress her up like that? Would you rather she kept walking around naked? She needs a uniform if she's going to work here. She's not working here. I want to work for Syrup. Let's get along. Cut it out! Are you thinking... What are you thinking, Pastel? What if she really was sent here to spy so that which can ruin us? Like, like, like you're just handing her our business. We could use the extra help. If she does turn out to be Butterscotch's spy, I'll take full responsibility. So, can we keep her? Magic candy golems aren't pets. I said no. I will work hard to earn my stay. I'm very skilled with mental tasks. Menial. Mental. Menial. Nailed it. With menial tasks. It's true, she cleaned the whole place while you were down there making candy. Look around, it's spotless. Hmm. She did a good job. Even looks brighter than usual. She's so sweet, all candy jokes aside. Look at her, she just wants to help. Oh god, whoa, wait. <laughs> Fine. She can work for one day. But after that, I want her out. 
Thank you, Syrup. I will not disappoint you. I ship them. She's already started taking inventory by herself. What a hard worker. What are you smiling about? She'll steal your job at this rate. Gah, slow down! <laughs> well, guess that's settled. I need to do some shopping. Wait! You waited! Thank you! Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Master Pastel said that he will handle the inventory taking. If you're running errands, I would like to help. <laughs> no, I love her! Fine, let's go. Huzzah! Oh god, what a little sweetie pie! So, what are we shopping for today, Syrup? I've never heard of that. Does it make your candy tastier? It's food coloring. Food coloring! I'm a chemist! I knew that! Shut up! It doesn't taste like anything. Oh! I was hoping we would buy something to make me taste better. Why? So I'll want to eat you? Yes! Well, you're out of luck, no matter what you taste like. I'm not eating you. Syrup, you're a very stubborn person. Yep. Here we go. Food coloring. Mission complete! Now you can make more inventory for me to take. Sure, just don't forget you're only staying for one day. That is fine with me. I will just have to become your friend before then. Oh, <gasps> kitty! Cat person? Question mark? Oh, it's the candy alchemist. Yeah. Syrup, a kitty! Meow, wow. Where'd you get such an impressive golem? I thought you hated magic things. Yeah. What do you want? Gee, whiskers. I'm not so rude to decline greeting my master's rival when I see her. Salutations. Yeah. Wow, polite. Nice to meet you, kitty. The name's Toffee. Yeah. And what do they call you, Miss Golem? I have not yet been given a name. Yo ho. How sad for you. But really, Candy Alchemist, I'm very surprised to see this new friend of yours. Oh, I do not think we've become friends yet, but I'm working very hard at it. She doesn't look familiar to you. After all, it was your master who made her, right? Was it? I had no idea. You aren't fooling anyone, Cat. That rotten witch is the only one who tried to prank me like this. She made this golem to either spy on me or try to sabotage my business somehow. Sabotage your business? Master's your best customer. Yeah. That doesn't make a lick of sense. I'm sure if she were here, she'd try to take responsibility for it. It takes some high level of magic to make a thing like that. Yeah. Which brings us back to my first point. Why is the Candy Alchemist, who's so outspokenly anti-magic, strolling around with such an unscientific creature? Yeah. I'll admit, you do have a point, Cat. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I like her. Come on, we're getting out of here. Goodbye, Toffee! I'm running away, Nya. Well, thanks for the interesting chat. I love the kitty! Oh, he's cute! The pair made their way home, and Syrup went straight back to work, making her delicious candies. In appreciation for the candy girl's enthusiasm, and general willingness to be helpful, the candy alchemist decided to keep her as an assistant. And so, the golem started living with Syrup, and pastel at... <laughs> the sweet shop. She became a mascot figure for the shop boosting sales instantly.